Hey, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be all about roller skating safety gear. If you are a beginner roller skater, just like me, then this is the perfect video if you need to find some safety gear. Since my last video about my worst fall and learning how to fall safely, I've had so many messages from people asking what type of safety gear to get, what type of safety gear I use, what knee pads do I use, what wrist guards do I use, as obviously, they saved me that one time. And so I thought I might as well just make a video and put all the information in this video. So in case you don't know, I'm currently doing the 365 days of skating challenge on Instagram. And that is where you skate every single day for 365 days. And I'm basically sharing what I do every day on my Instagram. So how I got into this was basically I became obsessed with all of the videos of people roller skating on TikTok and on Instagram. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy some roller skates because I've always, always wanted to be able to roller skate my whole life and I've just never, never done it. So why not now? What I did is I bought my roller skates and I was like, okay, so I'm gonna need some safety gear because it's very likely, if not, I will injure myself. <laughs> so I personally just decided I'm just gonna buy the cheapest set that I can find that has everything in there and just use that because I don't know if I'm gonna like skating. I don't wanna spend loads and loads of money on skating equipment if I get the skates, decide I hate it and have to send it all back. So I just got one beginner's set with a helmet, wrist guards, el elbow pads and knee pads and it done me perfectly up until this point. So this is the set that I decided to get. Everything I talk about in this video, by the way, is linked in the description. So that set that I got included this gorgeous helmet. <laughs> now, obviously, as I said, this is the cheapest set that I could find. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know technical things. Maybe this isn't the best helmet, but it's done me fine. It's hard enough, it seems. Um, yeah, it fits, it fits me okay. I may look a bit weird in when I'm wearing it. <laughs> it is such a funny look, having this on. This is the thing I think with wearing the helmet, if you are going to be doing, let's just take this off while I speak or I'll look a bit strange, but if you are going to be doing skate park skating, then you may want to invest in some professional helmets and some professional safety gear as obviously you're going to be throwing yourself around and things so you're going to need really good quality stuff but i personally just wanted to be able to go on nice little trail skates do some spins learn to strut all those sorts of things so if that's what you're trying to do you're doing the maybe you're doing the challenge as well then yeah this set it'll be fine for you it was fine for me i'm on day 17 now and it's been fine for me up until this point so yeah Here's my helmet. In that set, I also have these knee pads. So these knee pads have a hard front on them, kind of like a plasticky front, and then they are Velcro. So these go on, just wrap them around your legs. Your legs go in there. If you fall, you smash the plastic and not your kneecaps, which is obviously important. So then we have the wrist guards, and these wrist guards go on like this. Velcroed on and they have this bit here to catch yourself when you fall. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll, you'll probably know that I have used these a lot. <laughs> these have saved me on more than one occasion. And it shocks me that when I first started skating for the first sort of week, I'd say, I never wore wrist guards. I don't know why I didn't wear them. I just, just didn't think about it really. And yeah, now I wear them practically every single time I skate because they are just so essential to me. But yeah, so these have been a real lifesaver for me personally. And they are just simple little wrist guards that wrap on with Velcro and protect your wrists. I don't have the elbow pads with me at the moment because I don't really wear them, but it also comes with elbow pads, this set. So I got all of these plus the elbow pads all in one set together, super cheap and I got them in size L. And the reason for this is because it's mainly kids sizes and size L is the only adult size. So of course the helmet size L, it's fine, fits an adult's head. The wrist guards, perfect. They fit perfect, they're Velcro so you can make them bigger or smaller. 
The knee pads, on the other hand, are Velcro too, and they do have a stretch, but I do have mine, I don't know if you can even see that, but when I wear them, I do have about that much Velcro hanging out because if not, they're too tight. So obviously, size-wise, I'm a size UK 8 to 10. So if you're a similar sort of size or a smaller size, obviously, then these will be fine. And if not, there's also, obviously, you can get all of these sets in proper adult sizes. I just went for the absolute cheapest one I could find, which only had one adult size. But yeah, there's also other ones, so yeah i'll give that option as well of course but that set so far has done me fine it's brilliant you know you've got the wrist guard you've got your knees covered if you want your elbows covered you can have your elbows covered you got your helmet on protected for the first sort of month two months that was perfect for me it wasn't a big investment so i knew i could be safe but i didn't have to spend loads of money yeah i've been really happy with that until <laughs> the other day i decided to buy myself some new knee pads and i have been raving about these I think I've had about 60 people be like, where are your new knee pads from? Because they're just, they're just stunning. <laughs> and I'll have on the screen what they look like on because yeah, they're just lovely. So these are my new knee pads and they are more of a kind of foamy material in there. So basically, I would say personally, these ones here from the set, the plasticky ones, are perfect for beginners because if you fall, you know, you might fall hard and you want something that's going to fully protect your knee like this where it's rock hard and it's going to really support you when you're still learning to fall. Once you've learned to fall <laughs> more safely, which obviously is easier said than done because as much as we can learn to fall safely, we still obviously can slip up sometimes. <laughs> But yes, once you learn to fall and you kind of get the gist of it a bit more, you're not really falling as much. And these are perfect. These are a lot flatter, a lot smaller. And what that means is it's so much easier to strut in them, to spin in them, to do all these little tricks that you learn on the challenge. See, when I was learning to strut, I would wear these. So I'll put a video here of what I looked like when I was learning to strut. I used to wear the helmet and the knee pads and just strut, strut, strut. What I found is these ones are so hard and they're so bulky that they would get in the way of my strut. So my legs would kind of smush together almost and it would be so annoying. Obviously, I still managed to learn to strut in them, but I used to take them off once I'd kind of got more confident. So then I would get to this point and I would take them off and I would just do my strut. Um, to look aesthetic, I suppose, for Instagram. So I posted the one with the safety gear on for my stories, but the actual post, it looks a bit better without the big bulky knee pads smashing together. <laughs> Whereas these, on the other hand, they are so comfortable. The back of them is like this. So there's no Velcro, there's no nothing. I was, when I ordered them, I wasn't sure if they was going to have poppers up the back or something. And I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like these or not, because. Like, I imagine that this bit here might go all wrinkly and weird and dig into your leg, but no, not at all. They're like a soft, stretchy material. You get your whole leg in there, you just slide them on. You can put them on under jeans and things. You can put them over the top of things if you want to do, but yeah, I just think they are, they are so, I, I really, really, really like these knee pads. So I would say personally, if you're at the point now where you are learning struts and things like that, and you've noticed that you've got bulky knee pads and they're getting in the way, or if you just want to get a different pair of knee pads like me for things like that. I'll probably still wear these knee pads every now and then if I'm going on a really fast trail skate and I just want to go crazy fast, I'll probably still wear these just as I still wear my helmet if I'm doing really long and fast trail skates. But these are perfect for just little trail skates and for all the tricks. And yeah, so I'm really excited about these as you can clearly tell. So obviously, if you were just started now, so you're a beginner, but you've skated before in the past and you've already got a bit of confidence and you're not really too concerned, then maybe it'd be best to go with these gorgeous little ones and just get in a pair of wrist guards separately. And if you still want a helmet or elbow guards, you get them separately. Obviously, you can buy these wrist guards separately too. So you can just literally get these ones. These, I love these ones. They literally save me <laughs> on the regular. So they are my current sets. Another thing I would say is a lot of people buy their skates and from the same place they buy their skates, they buy a full set of protective gear. Now, if you know that you enjoy skating because you've done it in the past when you were a child or you just, you just know, I mean, 
I think some people just know. Some people are dancers and they just know they're gonna enjoy skating. Or if you're just committed and you're like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to this no matter what. I would say, yeah, why not just get a really gorgeous pair of knee pads and elbow pads and wrist guards and helmet all from the same place so i see a lot of people who have impala skates like i have will get the matching sets so they look so cute so many people on my instagram a lot of girls have like the pink skates and then they have the pink knee pads and the pink helmets and the pink wrist guards and it all says impala and it all matches and then they wear a cute outfit with it and it just looks so good so yeah if you're considering getting some safety gear and you're thinking you want to go all out straight away and you just want to look really nice then i would say that's a good suggestion so whatever skates you're getting if they do a set and you aren't bothered about spending lots of money then go for that because you'll look so cute and yeah it's just it does look cool i do sometimes consider just going and buying a, a set of the protective gear and I'm thinking of getting some new skates soon to treat myself so if i do then i am tempted to get the matching gear just so that i can every now and then look really cool <laughs> but we'll see and then the final item that i have is <laughs> these these are padded shorts also known as protected bum shorts bum protectors you, yeah, people call these all different types of things. I've heard so many different phrases for these, but basically protective shorts. Now, I bought these the other day. Look how bulky they are. They are huge. I'm gonna put a clip of me wearing them on the screen now. They are massive. I couldn't believe how big they were. So basically, after my fall, everyone was like, you should get yourself some protective shorts. And I was like, okay, I'll look into it. Found these ones once again, ordered just that she the first cheapest pair I found. I do almost think they, they don't look that bad when you wear them on their own. Basically, I just went for a pair that are far too big. Um, and I have seen a lot of people wear smaller ones that obviously you can then wear underneath outfits. Now, the reason why I want to get some of these shorts is simply because you may have seen I do some kind of aesthetic <laughs> skates where I skate along in a dress and try and look all nice and flowy and lovely. And I don't wear protective gear. So I, I have my wrist guards on, but I don't have knee pads on or anything. And there is a part of me that thinks, oh, if I ever fall, that could be bad. <laughs> so I'm thinking of getting some shorts because then I can wear them under the dresses. No one will even know. You won't even be able to notice that I'm wearing shorts underneath the dresses. These shorts, however, are slightly too big. <laughs> you could wear them under joggers. You could wear them under big, long skater skirts and things like that. So there are options if you did want a big pair, but I would probably say go for a smaller pair. For now, this is all my safety gear, all the essential items. So if you are a beginner, then I would say these are great options. They've helped me a lot. I personally really like, obviously, the knee pads, but also the first that I got did me absolutely fine, as I said. So yeah, I would highly recommend these items if you are like me trying to learn to skate <laughs> so i hope that this video has answered <laughs> the questions i've had about what protective gear i use and i hope that you will be able to enjoy the items that i have suggested if you do decide to get some of these items if you want to follow along on my journey of my 365 days of skating, then my Instagram is linked in the description as well as all of the items. So my Instagram is Lucianne Skates. You can follow me there and then you can see all the things that I learn along my journey. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And thank you for watching. Bye.